OTAs for us is the first chance for the team to really come together. Defense is how you win championships. I've relayed that to Steve. I've surrounded myself with a good defensive staff built on that principle. Defense up! Uh, we want to compete at a high energy. I think it's necessary to remind the guys that. Uh, I want to know you. You were too soft. Oh. Close my OTAs for us is the first chance for the team to really come together. So you start to see the players that were here last year combined with our free agency acquisitions, combined with draft picks and college free agency signings. So it's really a chance for everybody to learn, you know, a new system. We have, you know, majority of the coaching staff is new. Um, so it's a chance to, you know, really dive into the playbook stuff. That's the main part of this. And then really to get used to playing football again. What's that? Were you raised by someone in the military? Uh-oh. No. Uh -oh. I just watched a lot of Predator. <laughs> Love it. Chubb, would you say over or under as far as your fumbles today? Two. I don't speak that word. No chance. Gilbert, definite pick from you today. Stanton, obvious pick from you today. You know, we're all out there evaluating everything everybody's doing. So when you're out of practice, you're looking, number one, to see kind of how guys interact um, with the coaching staff, how guys communicate on the field is a big thing, especially, again, installing a new defense. Communication's huge, so this is the first chance they get to do that together. He's just gonna record him. He ain't gonna say that to the camera. He's just gonna record him. <laughs> There we go. Good. I was just about to tell you, you see, you know, that's big time right there, man. They was hating on it. I wanted the bag pipes and all, but. Hey, I'm just going to tell you, though, you had it on the wrong way. It was on backwards. Chris, this is why it takes you seven periods to warm up, because you have such poor Arkansas stretch mechanics. I mean, look at Kurt. Kirk look like he doing Pilates. And you over here like it's a damn nap. It's fun just watching everybody kind of come together. Um, you know, I think Freddie's personality mixed with John's personality mixed with, you know, Coach Wilkes and Coach Prefer and Coach Munkin and all the position coaches. Entertaining is a good way to put it. You know, everybody gets along really well. It's just a fun environment. You know, it's fun for us sharing a hallway with these guys and see, you know, where your needs are heading into the preseason. And, you know, where we think the real competition will be on the team. Ray Ray, what's good, man? I can't wait to see your juice today, Ray. I can't wait. We're going to see 52 be like, man, you ain't catch me dead walking off the field. I'm running on and off the field. I'm setting the Cleveland standard today. And everybody buying in. Carl! Juice level low, walking around. Damn. Oh, OTA five. Let's get it going, man. Let's go. Right now. Set the tone, man. Be the standard. Here you go. Just make love to the camera. <laughs> Come on, boys! Go down! Go down! Hey, man, let's practice hard. We take care of each other, man. Let's practice like pros, man. Let's go. Grand down three. One, two, three. Yeah. Right. Hold it. Hold it. Right idea. Yeah. I 
I think the main purpose of OTAs in minicamp is to prepare these guys to compete uh, from a knowledge standpoint, uh, from a technique standpoint, and uh, just an overall scheme standpoint uh, in the fall. Uh, and then, of course, you accomplish a lot by you know, being around your teammates and getting to know the people and, and stuff like that. We can run it back. Just don't miss the back of the cab. Yeah. Go over here and try This is what you, fires. This is what you don't want right here. All right, don't try to cover it. Yo! Cowboy <laughs> <laughs> the sleeve. He put it on the sleeve. Cowboy the sleeve. Know that other leg ass. <laughs> You gotta protect yourself out here, man. You can start the fire right here. <laughs> you must hit the but elbows. And get it right. Sparking off the ball. Slow poke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just looking to sleep. I wasn't looking. <laughs> I wasn't looking. Hey, I did they, they got the flex all about the lotion, bro. So I'm sitting Some there dog. talking. And so you just. And I'm just like this. Huh. Five minutes later. Man. It's hot. It's hot. Five minutes later after that. <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> I look at it and say, gee, don't tell nobody. <laughs> You're in the best for yeah, yeah, yeah. Now they got it all on camera. Defense up. Defense, defense up, defense up. I believe you win championships on defense. All right, I believe that to my core. I played at the University of Alabama. I understand what defense and good defense is. I understand that the Super Bowl this year with two high-flying offenses, I understand what the score of that game was. And I understand that those offenses couldn't do very much because the defenses were so good. We had a great offense in Arizona, but we lost the Super Bowl because we couldn't stop them on a two-minute drive. All right, so I understand that defense is how you win championships. I've relayed that to Steve. I've surrounded myself with a good defensive staff built on that principle, and I've continually talked to our players about that aspect of the game. Really trying to see Three. what? Which week? Rotation and where we coming from, okay? Here we go. Here we go. Yes. Hey, this one, this one. Alpha, Alpha. Damn, right there. Come on, let's do it again. Straight, 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 straight. No false steps there, Nigel. No false steps. Great stance right now. You know, Tosh is a ball coach, all right? And that's kind of a – if you call somebody a ball coach and as a football coach, that's kind of like a badge of honor kind of thing um, <laughs> because that means football is important to them. Teaching players are important to them. <laughs> Teaching good techniques is important to them. And uh, with Tosh, I think all those little things surrounding uh, or impacting what gets you the result are important to him. And that makes him a ball coach. And I like Tosh, and I'm happy to have him, and, and I'm glad I have him here. Right there, good. Hey, Chad, let's make sure get some lift on this thing, right? We ain't patty caking that dude now. He's 3.30 trying to end you, Chad. Red! Here they come. Miles, two, 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 two. Facing him. Let's go. Let's go. On the run. On the run. Let's go. Let's go. Cross chop. Cross chop. Continue. Continue. Chop down in there. Chop down there. Right there. Good. 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 Attack it down. Attack it. Attack it. Look at it. Look at it right there. There you go. There you go. Keep my mouth. Go. Go. Right there. Check. Is there anything you like to say to the Cavalier? Howdy. Oh. oh. That's a gig one too. <laughs> Crank down into it. I'm coming down on your hip. It's under closed left. You get it? Right there. Over exaggerate. Over exaggerate. You catch me like that, that's a problem. What you use? Power more? coming your way. We're when they owe you on the double, so I'm right here. You doubling, you the second double. Uh -huh. What you using? What you uh, he, well, you on the first guy, he not even on you, so you should swipe off the second guy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Don't release that inside hand. What do you got? What's with the size? I don't want to know you. Oh, 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 You were too soft. Oh, oh man. He it's our responsibility to establish that juice and energy for the guys at times, you know, when they're out here working their butts off and we want to compete at a high energy. I think it's necessary to remind the guys that. Good, good, Danny. Balls out, Danny. Go, 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 d -line. Go, Coley. Go get that ball, TC. Yes. 
Wyatt! Finish Wyatt! Finish Wyatt! Fumble! Fumble! Scoop! Score! 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 Well, Coach Freddie's done an awesome job as far as establishing what our standard needs to be, and that's what we're trying to compete to every day. So, ain't no point of coming out here and, and uh, not repping like it ain't going to be the Liz, game. Liz, go ahead, Coach. Get their ass to jump. Liz, Liz, right foot back. Right foot back. Liz, Liz, everybody. Green. As much as we can from an individual standpoint, um, even from our run-throughs and the drills we're doing and then carried over to team, doing our best to replicate that game feeling. So, um, you know, it really becomes part of our DNA come Sundays where we're competing at that level. And uh, we're used to that and, and presenting these guys with as much situations as possible um, where they feel like they've been there and they know the answers to uh, anything that's posed in front of them. A guy like 98 really jumps out, uh, not just from a defensive line standpoint, I think from this defense, you know, of someone that, that uh, we're feeding off of and um, a good uh, picture in front of us to follow. He's been a part of a couple organizations, but seen what it takes, you know, and um, I think he's approached this entire offseason with a, with a hunger. I can't appreciate that enough. I know as a staff, we can't appreciate that enough. I think there's a lot of power to someone um, that one has already established himself somewhat on the field and to be reminding teammates, you know, that's not our standard. When we ask you to run off the field, you don't run and then you walk the last five steps. That's not what we're doing here. And those little things carry over to the big things. Uh, what you do in practice, what you gonna do on the field, so that's how you take it, that's how you approach it. Uh, you know, first time actually in the leader role, you know what I'm saying, and uh, most guys are self-motivators in the ID line room, so it's really easy for me to do it, and uh, you know, guys just, you know, if they just follow suit, I lead by example. If coach asks us to do something, I just do it full speed and uh, no days off. Practice right now. Practice our ass getting back. Come on! And I catch us, get our ass back with a sense of urgency. Uh, I mean, the reason why you know, practice be ramped up the way it is is because of him and uh, how, he, how he treats us in the, in the meeting rooms. And, uh, he lets us know if we dogging or we, or we need to do better. Definitely brings a lot of energy and juice to the squad. Uh, days, dog days, we be down a little bit, you know what I'm saying? He's the one to pick us up and uh, keep us going. Finish Avery! Finish Avery! Finish Avery! Get off that, Avery! Damn! Back up, back up, Dev! Back up, Dev! Back up, Dev! We still live! We still live! Too cool for school, man. Get your ass back. We can absolutely not afford where we're loafing on the field, okay? We're working fast in, fast out, uh, and you're damn bought in and ready to go, just like it happened, okay? We got fresh rushers on there in a fourth down situation, game along the win. It's the same exact shit that's gonna happen in the game right there, okay? So you don't know when you're gonna get your damn call. You just know how to damn compete, all right, in your bloodline every damn day, all right? Okay, solid work, man. You guys are going to get me killed for this. I need my John Dorsey gum for practice here. What I miss, Swag? What I miss? Did seven on seven red zone. Yeah. Well. This time of year is, you know, really you spend a lot of time doing individual drills, which is position specific work. Again, teaching fundamentals, teaching guys the pace we want to practice. Um, for there, you know, we kind of come together for group stuff. Um, you know, the quarterbacks throwing balls to the receivers, the receivers running routes, um, working on timing, working on spacing for the defense um, in coverage. You know, really last year we had majority of the secondary was new. This year, you know, we're going to continue to add new pieces to it as we have. And I think Dwayne's one of the, you know, best position coaches I've been around specifically in the NFL. I think he's an excellent teacher and 
you know, Dwayne does a really good job of integrating rookies with vets. I think you saw the way Denzel kind of took off last year. It's easier said than done to ask a, a rookie to come in and play at corner at a position that is so much technique and so much confidence. Instilling that in players is difficult, in my opinion. And I think Dwayne does that as well as anybody in the NFL. Hey, look, look, to damn one-on-one, anytime that the bottom of the numbers let's press it. If they're not, let's work our off technique a little bit, okay? Let's work her off, huh? Now at the bottom of the numbers, it's too hard, Mitch. It's too hard. You know what I'm saying? They're at the bottom. When they, when they got a plus split. Let's go, fellas. Let's do it. <clears throat> you don't have to be a good football coach to be the loudest. Some of the worst football coaches I've ever seen in my life are the loudest, all right, because they're always trying to cover something up. You want truth, that's the truth. All right, so if you've ever been around a loud coach, one that just screams and yells all the time, just listen to what he's saying and see if he's really even teaching, okay? Dwayne's not like that. He understands that you don't have to scream to get your point across. He understands that this game is about teaching. And at the end of the day, we're teachers. First and foremost, I don't care how many football coaches I have. I want some good teachers because we've got football players that need to be taught, and Dwayne falls into that bid. All right, let's get some good reps. Let's go, Ward. Nice beat on it. Nice beat on it. Nice beat on it. Come on, Mitch. <laughs> he can't get off the jam. He can't get off the jam. <laughs> nice job. Nice finish, Ponder. Nice job. Nice job. Nice job, Pete. Nice, nice job. Inside release, man. Can't be that easy. I really like all of our young guys, to be honest with you. So um, see potential in the corners and the safeties uh, from a youth standpoint. So again, just taking it one day at a time. And when we get to training camp and preseason games, that's when we'll really find out what, what these guys are all about. Pick it, pick it, Ward. Nice, 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 nice. Where is he going? Go get it. Hey, man, you caught that thing like a punt, man. <laughs> I was looking at them. I wasn't trying to You didn't want to kill it? That's how you, that's how you look, too. <laughs> we good, we good, we good, we good. All right, two Nico, two Nico. Let's keep spanking that ass. Let's keep spanking that tail. Good job, Ward. Get that thing, Mitch. Go score, go score. Blood day, Jimmy with these. Nice job, Dean. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Get that ball. Oh, I'm just a lot more comfortable this year. I feel the first year going in, you just not knowing what you're getting yourself into. And uh, just meeting new guys, new faces and everything. And coming out to practice, just trying to prove yourself. You're still trying to prove yourself now, but I'm just a lot more comfortable with the whole process now. Well, I feel last year we kind of at times will play majority of one thing, uh, man to man, and this year I feel it's kind of a balance. We playing man and zone, so not really predictable. So that's what I like so far about it. Love it. Oh, well, no, come on, Jarvis, too much. Here we go. Last all in my face. Squat down. Denzel, I think, has had a remarkable spring. Uh, Greedy's been struggling a little bit just because. Uh, hey, when you're the, the big kid on the block, everybody wants to knock you off. So, you know, those receivers have some pride too, so they're going after him a little bit. So he's every time he lines up, he's getting the best rep of somebody, which is going to make him better. I see you, Greedy. 
Uh, biggest surprise, like I said, the game speed. It was fast when I first got out here. You know, I had to adjust to that. You know, it took me about two days to adjust, and you know, once I got adjusted, you know, I was able, you know, just to play more comfortable and with a lot of confidence. So, you know, just being out here, you know, competing against these guys every day, you know, it's probably one of the biggest things, you know, I ever wish for. <laughs> Come on, Greedy. Come on, Greedy. Don't be holding me, bro. Come on, hold it. Come on, now. Come on, baptize the ass, Greedy. There you go, Greedy. Good job. That's just my mindset, you know, just come out here, compete every day, you know, give it all I got, you know, and hopefully, you know, I did the right thing to put myself in a great position. There you go, Greedy. There you go, Greedy. Let's go, let's get better right now. Field goal, show field goal block. Hey Grady, still work on that get off, okay? Good quick get off. All right, let's get better right now, let's go. Good fit on the edge, good fit on the edge. Let's go baby Baker! Come on, let's get on Moxie. All coaches like to talk about how special teams is important. Uh, but then you get to practice time and the special teams is the first one to do away with some of their time on practice. Uh, so I've never understood how special teams can be just as important as offense and defense, but then that's the first thing that always gets cut out of practice or, or you don't even include it in a particular practice. Um, you have to develop a atmosphere where uh, you kind of wear being on special teams as a badge of honor. If you put it in that kind of perception, why wouldn't it be important to you? Because you can win and lose football games on special teams. I know everybody knows that. So why do you not make it as important instead of just saying it is? I'm mic'd up. Let's make fun of the rookies as much as we can today, okay? Britton, I promise not to call you Dustin. Not more than three times. <laughs> Dustin, I mean Britton. So for our group, what we're trying to do in this phase in OTAs is to set the foundation for training camp. So all our meetings, our walkthroughs uh, that we had during phase two, uh, all the practices now, obviously the mini camp next week, all this stuff is leading up to the preparation or is a preparation leading up to training camp. We're establishing the techniques, having these guys understand what's expected of them in practice, how to practice, you know, slowing some things down like we did today because it was warm and we had a couple receivers down. So we slowed it down a little bit and, and basically talked more about fundamentals and techniques rather than scheme. So that's what this time of year is really for. Fundamentals, techniques, foundation, and then we move on into training camp. We're up next period, period six. We're the big fellas, so let's do it right here. We'll go ahead and kick into the wind. We'll kick in the same direction, okay? And we said five, four in a row, right? So four in a row, you get two, then you go two, and then you're up, two and two. He said the opposite. Jamie's going first. He yeah. said he's getting the Jamie's cool first. Like I said in the meeting, Jamie will go first, and then Britton slash uh, Dustin. There is a competition. It's kind of exciting to watch. You know, Greg Joseph's not going to give up the job. They're neck and neck. I feel like they're really uh, competing and having a great competition. Uh, you know, every time we kick, they get equal amounts kicked, so they're always been evaluated. Let's go now. Let's get better. We got four reps with the ones, four reps with the ones, and then two reps with the twos and two with the threes. Here we go. Slide step, there it is, good, build a wall, good. That's it, moving back, left hash. Moving back, left hash. That's it, good, hash. nice job, Greg. Here we go, moving back, moving back. We got that second field goal, next play. Good, that's it, good job, good job. Back it up, left hash, good. Hey, Chad, Chad, Chad. Boom, boom, just pick up and replace it at that power step, okay? Hey, uh, Brett, did we make any of the field goals today? Did we make any of them? It's like you said it. 
All of them. You're making all of them. That's what I'm all talking about. Why don't you just say that every day? Huh? Why'd you wait this long? I think about it every day. Every morning at 3.31, when every time we do a field goal, I wake up and say we're going to go 8 for 8 or 10 for 10 today. The day you voiced it, I <laughs> Sure. So I should start spreading that rumor? Yeah. Sure. Why don't you say, okay. you tomorrow, you, you might, I might call you Dustin, but you're going to hit all five second hang. I will call you Dustin. You know, Britton's got a great person. Everybody knows, you know, he's kind of happy-go-lucky. I you know, coached him when he was a rookie, and he hasn't really changed. He's gotten a lot better. Obviously, he's improved, and he's had a phenomenal career. I'm real proud of him. Yes! yes. Look at that rugby toss. Teamwork. <laughs> All right, here we go. Into the shed. Who got that stuck up there? That's our workout. That's what we do. You know yeah. what I mean? Perfect. Get, get stuff. stuff stuck. Get <laughs> stuff out. <laughs> you know, Jamie's different because he doesn't understand the game of football. And he's starting to find out today. We're talking to him a little bit about defense. And he, he has no clue about what a 4-3 defense is. You understand defense? <laughs> what do we call a 4-3? You got four D linemen, typically three run, uh, linebackers. And then we have nickel. Nickel means five defensive backs. So take out a linebacker and put in a defensive back. And that would be on like a fourth down play or like a... Well, anytime it's a passing situation. So if they have certain offensive personnel in the game, then we'll match them. Prover's a good special teams coach. All of our coaches teach good technique, and I'm a big believer in technique. Um, I think uh, if you have two guys that are same ability level, the one that plays with better technique wins. And I think Coach Prefer does a good job of that. I think he's very simple in what he does, and he relies on the fact that he's going to get those guys good at technique. Uh, and I think that's going to benefit us. Hey! Hey! Kickoff return, I got five lines. Five lines facing the building. Five lines facing the building. Here we go. Go. Show team work to your left. Finish, 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 finish. Good. Go. Lock with your feet first. Cut him off, cut him off, cut him off, good. Anthony, not here. Do you feel it? You gotta get to here. Get in here and then finish. Right there, good. Go cut him off, Richard. That's it, coach. To be honest with you, we'll also tell him this, once the pads come on, football changes a bit. Right now we're in you know, shorts and jerseys and helmets and when the pads come on, football changes a bit for these guys. And the fundamentals won't change, the techniques won't change, but the physicality is gonna change a little bit. And I think you have to be tough, you have to be physical, you have to be disciplined, you have to be enthusiastic and, and passionate about, about special teams in order to help us win. It's over, it's over, we're off the field. We're off the field. Everybody up! What's up, man? What's up, Robert? Go back. Come on, Donnie. How you doing, man? You all right, Jim? You all right? Let's go, JT. Let's go. Learn something from this. Let's go, guys. Hey, what's up now? This is a good day. All right? The one thing we need to get better at, though, is shutting up to begin with. All right? And then secondly, we need to get better at going to drill to drill. All right? We need to get our asses there and get lined up so we don't have to be out here all day. All right? And special teams, scout teams. You better look it up in board, all right? We went a minute and a half before we kicked one ball. That's unacceptable. Does everybody understand that? You're wasting everybody's time, all right? We need to be on and off the field and get done while we're out here. Does everybody understand that? But defense, that's a hell of a day of being smart. All right, everybody good? All right, let's go break it down. Bow down three, one, two, three. Bam. You know, it always feels good to get back with your teammates. This is why you do it. You go through blood, sweat, and tears with these people. You're up early morning, late evenings. I'm definitely excited and looking forward to the opportunity. Bang, there we go, right idea. That's the timing of it. It's got to be the same. Every guy's got to be the same. Oh. Glad I got my lift in today. What'd you guys tell? When you hear Kirksey say, dog check, dog check, you go, oh, oh, oh. Flex again, flex again.